Hello, folks. Uh, welcome to Club Passim, um, or Matt's office, as you can see behind me. Um, but uh, as it has been since March, uh, Passim is wherever you are. So thank you folks so much for tuning in tonight and uh, joining us for Matt and Shannon Heaton's show, uh, A Fine Winter's Night. Uh, I was just chatting with them trying to figure out how many years they've been doing this, and it's definitely over a decade, but past that, it's lost to time. Um, uh, if you folks uh, in the chat have been to the show at the club, maybe let us know how many years you've been coming and we can kind of get an idea of how long this uh, holiday tr tradition has been going on. Uh, well, before we get to Matt and Shannon, I just want to tell you a little bit about Club Passim for those of you who aren't familiar with us. Um, we here at Passim are a nonprofit organization and we've been running as a nonprofit for uh, several decades now, not several, more than a couple, enough. Um, but we have been uh, operating as a venue in Harvard Square for over 60 years total. Uh, and we've been able to do that with your help. Uh, not only are we a venue, uh, we are also a, a school of music. We also have uh, two different grant programs as part of Passim. And uh, we have rich programs. We also put on the Boston Celtic Music Festival every January. Uh, there's so much that goes into Passim and the whole community. And uh, we're really excited that, that the Celtic community is a big part of what we do at Passim. So right now we are uh, in our end of year fundraiser. Um, so in addition to uh, donating to the show tonight, uh, we would also uh, ask that you consider supporting Passim directly as well. Um, if you would like to support Matt and Shannon, you can uh, go to passim.org slash stream and the donation there at that yellow donate link right in the middle. We're suggesting a $25 ticket price for tonight, um, which is uh, the same ticket price that you would pay if you were seeing this in the club. And this is truly the way that artists are making a living right now, how they're continuing to, to live as artists, uh, write new songs, continue to play out in what ways they can. And a lot of that is virtual. And those of you that are here, I'm sure have seen some other virtual shows during this year. And uh, the end is in sight. The end is getting nearer but for right now this is the main way that artists are continuing to make a living so please do go to passing.org slash stream and donate to support matt and shannon's show tonight and if you are able and you'd like to help passim continue in our our mission to help artists uh get gigs and and to help develop new artists that are coming up and to continue to uh continue traditions like this that have been going on for years please go to passim.org slash support and uh, you can give a donation to Passim or become a member and support us more long-term. So thank you folks for tuning in. Um, we are going to head on into our show tonight. Um, as I was saying, uh, we have been hosting the Heatons for a fine winter's night uh, for several years at the club and uh, I am, I'm all festively ready. I've got my little hot cocoa in my festive mug. You can't tell, but I'm wearing a uh, very holiday appropriate pajama bottoms. So uh, grab yourself a drink, light yourself a cinnamon candle and uh, sit back and enjoy as we have Matt and Shannon Heaton. Hello. Hello and welcome. We're so excited to bring you our winter show. And I love the idea of Halloween, Halloween, of Halloween, and also of holiday themed pajamas. We are not wearing pajamas for, for you once. this evening for once um, because this is an important show. show. <laughs> <laughs> but you're very welcome to a fine winter's night. And thanks so much, Club Passim, for hosting us. And thanks to our friends at Ministry of Folk in the middle of a great wintry weekend. So fun to loop into that, too. So we're going to start off with a set of jigs. This first tune is called Redwoods in Winter and Christmas in Clare to commemorate a very funny Christmas that we celebrated in County Clare, which we will share with you later. First, these jigs.
that's a brand, brand new tune just for you tonight. I just finished it yesterday, and it commemorates a really hilarious winter we spent in Claire that later on in this set, our friend Katie McNally, who's joining us, I see, um, will help us tell that tale through her fiddle beauty while Matt reads a poem, but that is to come. For now, welcome everybody. Welcome to my Murphy family. Hi, Steph. Good to see you. Hi, Chuck. Good to see you. And Jesse and Claire and Elena. Oh my goodness. Friends from all over in Michigan, in California, in Vermont, in Maine, in Chicago. Oh, this is really great. Um, you're all so welcome. And really the reason we began Fine Winter's Night, oh, so many years ago. Was it 15 years ago, maybe? was because we really need these little lights. So Matt found this cute tree in our neighbor's trash bin, um, and we have it adorned with little red I cardinals. Feel, I feel like I feel like you're kind of underselling the tree because let, let me let me paint the picture of the tree. <laughs> we had decided that we needed a, a tree in here, but we didn't want. It's not a big room. We don't want like a massive tree. And so I was thinking about like you know getting some sort of small tree. And literally, literally, as I was getting in the car to go find one, uh, I found a little box of free stuff, and in it was this lovely little tree. I feel so. like the lights need to be up on the top That's, as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but it is that. these little lights. They make such a huge difference. Mary and Cheryl and my sister is here. Oh my gosh, Elizabeth. Great to see you guys. Michael, wonderful. Just, um, put, just put a bird on it, in fact. And there's an owl here in case Jennifer is tuning in. So folks, Fine Winter's Night. That was really our sort of uh, mandate for this project to bring on the little tiny lights that can brighten up winter when it's horrible um, and yeah. dark and sad, and, and hey, this is the year for it, yeah, baby. Yeah, if ever there was a year to have a few uh, have a few extra lights, this might be it. That's so, right. So we're going to do the uh, the song. The anthem. The anthem. The anthem. Fine Winter's Night. Take it away, Heaton. You want to tune that or not? Nah. Okay.
amazing the dramatic effect that the little lights have on the winter landscape. They don't do anything in the summer, really. You know? uh, yeah, I mean, if you know, I will tell you, Shannon, I have been struggling with um, uh, whether or not to, to, you know, when to turn off the front porch lights, the front porch Christmas lights. Yesterday I left them on all night. This morning I didn't even know they were on. <laughs> exactly. We rest our cases. Yeah. Um, so, oh my gosh, Petter, you've made it. But you do have a new child, so yeah, I can understand you're, you're up being anyway. up at 2 a.m. But so lovely to see friends from all over tuning in. And um, this is for all of us. Uh, this program this whole entire night so our thanks to Passim for bringing us all together and if you can kick in and support Passim um, this is a great time to do it um, they put on shows all year um, when the club is open and when the club is closed they're still putting on shows so thanks very much to our hosts this evening and um, so this beautiful song uh, is called The Fisherman's Lament. It's an African-American spiritual, and it's a real song of hope. And it's really about singing Gloria, about giving thanks, and saying Yahoo, even when the chips are down. Maybe especially when the chips are down. So it seems like a good time for this. There's a version of the song from Kentucky there, John, so perfect timing. Wreck the segue. It's perfect. This is part of it.
joining us, folks. So we're seeing people tuning in from our Saturday virtual guided session. It's such a warm, lovely feeling to have you here with us. We're seeing our friends from the Ministry of Folk Wintry Weekend. Um, so wonderful to be a part of that. There's so much great music going on this weekend. And um, our- Does that make you thirsty? It does make me thirsty, yeah, in fact. Like, That's right, where is my, oh yes. Out of my Ministry of Folk mug, I'm drinking right now. What a wonderful organization, much like Club Passim, bringing people together. Um, and speaking of bringing people together, I think it's time for a little blue Christmas. So we're going to start off, um, we're going to play a tune. It's a it's a barn dance. And so we figured, you know, it was a barn manger kind of tie-in. You like that? <laughs> you ready, okay. Shannon? You I'm ready, ready, Shannon? Yep. Hit me. Decorations of red and green on the blue, on the green, red and green on the green Christmas tree. Right. And yep. the owl. 
Yes. And uh, so snowing. sweet to see folks tuning in from Colorado who were at our Christmas show many moons ago with our lovely dear friend Beth Leachman back in the day in the Shukra, very Shukra Christmas days. Um, I remember a number of you were there at our show at the Boulder um, Chautauqua house there and um, that was a very special night we were just thinking about that and listening to the very shukra christmas cd today the come day go day track oh how sweet and dear so um, many memories that we're visiting as we can't go and make new ones out in the world but making kind of new yeah we're, we're, doing, weird. we're doing fine with making new memories are we yeah oh yeah we're okay doing um so we <laughs> too are early going... to tell honey too early to tell so we are going to do we're going to do a song for you that is um, technically uh, designed as a sing along. Uh, so we're just going to have to trust you that you're the, that you're holding up your end of it. Um, but we are, and then and after this, one one advantage of uh, this this kind of a setting is you can bring in special guests from all over the place. So after uh, after this song, we will be having our, our the first in our cavalcade of special guests. That's right, where and we relive that beautiful Christmas in Claire. That's right. But before we do. But before we do, we're going to do a song about a, it's about a house. It's about a house in, uh, in Medford, where we are. And it's a big house up on top of a big rocky ledge. It's like, it's a mansion. Let's just say it. It's a, you know, ba- massive intimidating place. And for years... I it's not to... on our side of town. No, yeah, you got to cross the highway. <laughs> um, but the... But for years, I, 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 when I, when we first moved here, I would like ride my bike by and man, be like, man, that place is really something. It's like a castle. And I just had, and I made up this story about what would happen if there was like, you know, there's a girl who lives in the house and there's this boy who lives down in the town and he really wants to, you know, knock on the door, but it's kind of intimidating. So let's see how true love fares through, through this sort of thing. You're such a romantic, honey. Mm. came on on the first snowfall of December. Tonight would be longest before breaks the dawn for all the wintry weather. Young Sally, she watched through the window pane on the first snowfall of December. Wondering if she'd see that young man again through all the wintry weather. Her house was lit for a party grand on the first snowfall of December, a night of dancing impeccably planned for all the wintry weather. As the guests arrive and the music flow on the first snowfall of December, still Sally, she stared at the street down below for all the wintry weather. Sally spotted the boy she longed for to meet on the first December, at the door of her house on Governor Street, for all the windy weather. Paul took in his breath, and he knocked on the door, just as it so often dreamt of doing before. There stood Sally's father, so proper and stern. Paul felt his cheeks start to redden and burn. He looked at him up, and he looked at him down, this poor young laborer from the town. But he opened the door and he smiled just as wide. Happy Christmas, young man, won't you come on inside? Oh, the yule it was lit and the feast it was laid on the first snowfall of December. The couple. Sally and Paul danced into the night on the first snowfall of December. Till came the warmth of morning's first light for all the wintry weather. And a toast was raised to when good friends meet on the first snowfall of December. And the longest night passed ever so fleet for all the
we're going to hand this over now to, uh, well, Matt in the other room. Yep, I'm going to head over to the other room. Katie McNally. We're going to share with you a story about a Christmas we spent in County Clare uh, some low many years ago. And we'll be joined by the fabulous Katie McNally. Oh, hello. Welcome back. You know, one thing that really gets the winter started off right for me is listening to some great music from Katie McNally. <laughs> and reading poems. I'd like to share a poem with you called Christmas in Clare. Gather round, I'll tell a tale of a Christmas long ago, before the Celtic Tiger, before the mobile phone. In the 1990s, we hatched a travel plan. For three long winter months, we passed the time in Ireland. Now, County Clare in winter might not be first in mind, but recall that this was in those heady pre-pandemic times. Sunlight didn't last so long, but the pubs were warm and dry. We had planned a Christmas trip to see our friends in Athenry. On Christmas Eve, the snow began. It was sort of coming down. And when the blizzard finished, there was a dusting on the ground. I rang bus Aaron, asking when the Galway bus would ride. The Clareman answered, laughed, have you even looked outside? Half an inch of snow, I thought, could not stand in our way. Perhaps I'd find a shovel or broom and swiftly save the day. No one seemed convinced when I shared my simple plan. So back to the pub we went, it being winter in Ireland. Stuck and Clare is not that bad, and a neighbor came to call. He was a beefy fellow and, oh, so very tall. He asked us to a soiree, and you'll not guess who was there. An entire Kiwi rugby team spending Christmas Eve in Clare. Drinking with the sportsmen we truly didn't expect. And the next morning, as you might guess, our heads were really wrecked. Mary knocked upon the door so early that next day. We stammered, sure, we'll go, just to shoo our friend away. Turns out the Christmas service in Cranny was our lot and Mary picked us up that eve at ten till four o'clock. We said we'd join the choir, but soon we came to see the Christmas choir in Cranny was her and her and me. When we returned, the fire was out, which gave us both a chill. We couldn't light the coal fire, we didn't have the skill. The only thing that saved us from falling right apart was running to the local spa for a lovely apple tart. So when you go to Ireland and plan to trek around, consider warmer seasons to go from town to town. But then again, the crowds are fierce in summer and in spring. So County Clare in wintertime might be the very thing. <laughs> and that is the winter that we spent in County Clare. So that was wonderful Katie True McNally story. joining us on the fiddle. And Katie has a brand new album out with her trio, Ooh. the Katie McNally Trio, Today on Bandcamp, released Now More Than Ever. Pick up a copy of Now More Than Ever Today. It is the release day and also Bandcamp profits go Bandcamp Friday. fully to her band. So let's hear it for Katie McNally and the Katie McNally Trio's new album. And yes, Hanukkah, in fact, Matt's album, Matt's outfit was amazing for that poem. And he quickly changed out of it yeah, yeah, and back I'm, into I'm concert dress. Yes. <laughs> 
Yes, just in time for the super sweet Friendly Beasts, one of my favorite Christmas carols of all time. And um, the part of the dove will be played by this little red cardinal. And I do love, no matter your tradition, I do love the idea of coming with the gifts that you have, and we all have them, and the lights that you can muster, and we all have something. Um, our son, one of his favorite things to do is to really complain about things in great detail. That is one of his superpowers and something that he really enjoys doing, and I just relish it. I think that is a gift that he gives me, is like the enjoyment of complaining. Um, so hey, gifts come in all packages, and... Um, they're mostly pretty great. So we're going to carry on with Another Winter Wonder Classic. This one is in standard tuning, guitar players. Here to stay is the new bird. 
you're in town later on. We'll conspire as we dream by the fire to face our afraid the plans that we made. Walking in a winter wonderland. winter's night lots of little lights everywhere joining us and it's really bringing a lot of cheer into our house so thanks for joining us and those lights those beacons are everything and so we're going to do a beautiful song for you next with our friend natalie haas and natalie and alistair are going to be playing a full length concert in just a little bit at 10 o'clock Eastern 10 time, Eastern, right? 7 p.m. California time. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we will post the link for that. Um, so make sure to check out Natalie and Alistair tonight if you wish, and also pick up a copy of their Syzygy album. Um, we'll tell you more about what Syzygy means after this collaboration between ourselves and Natalie Haas. That's right, that's right. Can we, can we roll the video, please? Burning, 
Perhaps an appear across the way. Some struggling painting sailor, he may rescue you, they say. Let the lower lights be burning, turn it clear across the way. Some struggling painting sailor, he may rescue you, they say. and brothers, some poor sailor, tempest tossed, trying now to make the harbor in the darkness. Some struggling, fainting sailor, you may rescue, you may save. Some struggling, fainting sailor, you may rescue, you may save. So, woo, woo. Natalie Haas, ladies and gentlemen, um, that song, I, I first heard that song uh, just about four years ago. Uh, Brian O'Donovan played it on, on his radio show after the after the last presidential election. And uh, it had it had a message that kind of kind of stuck with me of, you know, doing the, the, the smaller lights along the shore that could help help someone out. Um, so thank you all for your lights. We are going to carry on with a fantastic tune called The Day Dawn, uh, which is, a, I believe, a Shetland tune. And the mythology behind it is it was played only once a year, only on New Year's Day. And if you would, uh, the all the fiddlers, which was basically everyone who lives on the island. And the flute player. Yeah, and the flute player. They would all uh, get, get a turn to play it, and then uh, the winner would get uh, free rent for a year so so we're gonna we're gonna work on this one kind of like the roblox battles going on right now like the the rb battles if you're not tuned into rb battles you gotta catch up all right so we gotta play this really well free rent for a year here we go and a million robux
Yeah, Pat, you got it. It was the mother and child reel indeed. And um, the day dawn is so beautiful. Mm. Aaron, the day dawn is gorgeous. Um, now, we are all masters here, and there are a lot of great musicians who play that beautifully. I will just say, extenuating circumstances, I did play almost all of that set with a big piece of hair in my mouth. <laughs> and so I think when uh, it is when determined judging... who gets the free rent for the Judges? year, just so you know, I did that. Under duress. Under duress. Yeah. <laughs> well, some friends some friends from Goderich uh, are watching. And uh, this this next song was written by, by some dear, dear friends that we met first in Goderich, uh, uh, Emily Smith and Jamie McLennan who are our, our buddies over in Scotland. And this is a song that Emily wrote called The Winter Song. And um, anything we need to say about The Winter Song? It's beautiful. It is beautiful. And so are all of you. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. 
a beauty by Emily Smith, the winter song. And wow, endure the winter. That's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to be okay. Um, and then the snowdrops will come out and eventually uh, they will open. And, um, and then you'll be able to see my face in public. <laughs> the lower half of my face. And you're not going to grow a beard during that time, are you, honey? No promises. <laughs> no promises. So our friend Hanukkah Castle mm -hmm. has a new album out today, and it's called Over the Sea to Sky. Hanukkah Castle and Jan Falke have a beautiful new album. Um, and again, we will post that in the link in, in, the, in the comments here. Um, and we're going to cut to another special guest segment. This is the great... Good King Wenceslas, what a wonderful song about good leadership and um, about really looking out for each other. So uh, take it away, Hanukkah Castle.
Hey, Hanukkah Castle, ladies and gentlemen. Yay, thanks to our friend Hanukkah and thanks to our friend Abby at Passim for um, coordinating all of these special guests for all of us. And thanks to Passim for hosting us and thanks to the wintry weekend that Ministry of Folk is currently doing. We are so honored to be a small part of this incredible weekend of music um, and so lucky that there are these uh, groups of wonderful people bringing us all together. Um, so a very, very thank you to each and every one of you for joining us tonight. We're going to play Julius the Christmas Cat and then we're going to do a built-in encore after that. Should we do that? We're going to do it. Um, and Julius the Christmas Cat really celebrates the unsung hero of the nativity. Um, in fact, Matt did some woodcuts a few years ago, last year. Last year, the year before, mm. of Julius, the Christmas cat. Um, we still have a couple of those. That's number 27 of 30. So, yeah, hey, you know, some, if anybody is jonesing for a Julius, the Christmas cat Band poem, Camp Friday. Um, I don't know, get in touch. Um, but uh, Julius, the Christmas cat, we'll send this out to Abby because Julius is the behind the scenes hero who makes everything happen. A song awoke him from his nap Julius the barnyard cat To him the angels sang the news Of the babe to come on morning news too He shrugged the sleep from his furry head Found a spot for the manger bed He trampled straw to a downy ring A plush warm bed for the newborn king to clean his chilly, humble home. He cleared the mice and filled their holes. With care he patched his drafty barn to keep the noble couple warm. The beasts at rest in the stable lay with matted coats and cool dark hay. For hours that night from bed to bed, Julius groomed each chase, no harm to her or to her mate. From the rafters she sent feathers warm to Julius for his final chore, and with feathers strewn in the baby's nest, he woke each beast, then went to rest. And when appeared that blessed babe, the creatures gently warm that day. And in the shadows of the barn he napped, Julius the Christmas cat. Yay, Julius! I realize sending that out to you, Abby, and to you, Matt, at Club Passim, that does not mean that you have to groom our furry heads. <laughs> so. Gross. All Gross. Those. Gross. Mm -hmm. I broke the um, winter broke the concert somberness yeah, and yeah. I went back to, to old normal, school Matt and Shannon. Yeah, normal crass little... <laughs> that's, mm -hmm. that's good. It's a good transition. Well, friends, in. yeah, because this is, this, is our, um, this is our final number and this is our built-in encore, so we're not going to do any awkward uh, applauding emojis that are delayed by a few seconds or whatever. Um, we are just going to play this one and we are going to thank you all so very much for tuning in. It just means the world to us. It is so wonderful to see so many uh, familiar names and know that you're out there listening. It just, you know, it's it's great. I hope that you are having a good start to your December and let us let us kick this year in the butt on the way out. And um, yeah. And if there's a tiny moment of light or happiness that you felt in connecting with a friend here or in something that we sang or looking at a little light or the little red cardinal, um, please carry it with you into January, into February. We're going to be okay and we're going to keep each other going. So thanks for helping keep us going. Oh, 
I'd like to spend my Christmas Eve with you, dear. You are what this season's all about. I don't need no presents when you're holding me near. You're my Christmas baby, there's no doubt. When the snow begins a falling, that's the time I love the most. In a sweater like a present In my arms where I can hold you close Oh, I'd like to spend my Christmas Eve with you, dear You are what this season's all about I don't need no presents when you're holding me near You're my Christmas baby, there's no shines on this Christmas tree. Oh, I'd like to spend my Christmas Eve with you, dear. You are what this season's all about. I don't need no presents when you're holding me near. You're my Christmas baby, there's no doubt. And when the wind blows and the snow begins to fall, if we get lucky, we won't have to leave at all. That was Matt and Shannon Heaton bringing you a fine winter's night. Uh, thank you all for joining us for this um, this annual tradition here to kind of kick off your uh, your holiday season, uh, your your winter season, even though it's not doesn't quite feel like winter yet in Boston. We'll get there. Um, a special thank you to our, our friends out there from the Ministry of Folk. Uh, and they ha they're having this wonderful uh, wintry weekend. You can go check that out if you're interested in some more uh, workshops and uh, tunes and sessions and concerts. Uh, they have this whole lovely weekend going on of Celtic music. Um, and if you enjoyed the show tonight and you'd like to support both Passim and the Heatons, you can go to passim.org stream. We're suggesting a $25 
$10 ticket donation for tonight. Um, if you can't give, that is fine. We are glad that you joined us. We're glad that you were a part of, of this show tonight. But um, if you are able to give and you'd, you'd like to help both Passim and the Heatons continue to bring you music like this, uh, please uh, do go uh, support the show tonight. And also, as, as part of our year-end fundraiser, if you are able to and you'd like to help Passim in particular uh, continue to persist through uh, the struggle that has been this year, um, you can go to passim.org support and donate any uh, amount that you like. Everything helps. Even $5 uh, is going to help us get to our goal of raising $200,000 this December so that when we are able to reopen safely, we can and you can come back. Um, we are going to be continuing some of these virtual things uh, once we do get back in the club as well, but it will be exciting when we can get those doors back open and we won't be able to do it without your help. So please consider donating to Passim. If you become a new member tonight or if you are a current member and you upgrade your membership to the next level, you will be sent a, a Passim face mask. I don't have a prop one right here, but um, uh, go go check out our facebook and you'll be able to see a lovely one modeled by summer mccall oh my assistant tried to help me and did not quite oh uh, hey here we go a lovely passim face mask as you can see here super comfy super safe um you can only get one of these if you become a member of Passim or if you upgrade your membership. Um, so you can do all of that at passim.org slash support. Thanks again so much to everyone who came out um, and joined us this evening. Have a good evening.